Welcome back to the William Henry Studio. I'm Matt Conable, founder and lead designer. And today, for Material of the Month, we're actually here in the jewelry shop. A little bit louder uh, than our normal video is, and that's because we've got fans in the back that are venting the heat from our kilns for casting, and we can never turn them off because there are always, always parts back in that room in some stage of uh, development and uh, production. So we're here at the jewelry shop, and this month, it's about meteorite. Yeah, so let's talk about meteorite, the shooting star, the, the cosmos come to Earth. This is the rarest material that we use. It is getting inordinately hard to find. Um, I've been playing with meteorite for over 20 years. 20 years ago, not too many people knew about it, and that was an advantage for those of us who did. Uh, it was sold by the ounce. There were a few places or a few people that you could get it from. Um, over the last years, it has become a gem and it is now sold by the gram and is extraordinarily rare at this point because it's an asteroid that fell to Earth that was big enough to probably do some damage in prehistoric times whenever it hit um, and didn't evaporate in the atmosphere. And what meteorite is, is, a, is an iron composite that has formed in the absolute vacuum and ice cold temperatures of space. And the meteorites that we're using, to the extent that they even can carbon date, this material that is on Earth, but not of this Earth, are billions of years old, right? We love using fossil materials and telling these stories, and, oh, it's 10,000 years old, it's 100 million years old, and it's spectacular. Now we're into the billions of years. There's only a few meteorites that have ever been found that you can use. Most of that stuff is used up. And I'm gonna show you a very big slice in this day and age. So this just looks like a rusty piece of metal with some inclusions and all that, but this is actually a slice of the Gibeon meteorite. Most of the meteorite that we've been able to use so far is Gibeon meteorite. It is from Namibia. So this is a meteorite that crashed to Earth in what is now Namibia. Uh, it was found in the early 1800s, um, and sometime after that they were able to determine with early testing that it was extraterrestrial. It was not of this Earth. Uh, it's really cool stuff, and it was named for the nearest town to it, which was Gibeon. So this is a slice of Gibeon meteorite. And this is, you can just sort of imagine what this slice came out of, right? Just sort of a, a shard, a chunk of rusty metal. But what's inside is extraordinary, and that's always the, the thing, right? It's like, oh, it doesn't look like much, but wait till you see what's inside. I love those stories. So this is meteorite, and I'm gonna show you one step further. And I'm gonna show you what we do to process this stuff, which is slice and polish and lap and flatten. And now, and you may have to zoom with the camera. I don't know if you can get that on the camera. Can you? Awesome. So these are actually two small slices of meteorite where we have done a whole lot of post-production work and we've done a quick, a quick acid etch which reveals this crystalline pattern. When molten metal freezes very rapidly in space, which is the creation of this particular type of asteroid, that metal crystallizes because of the rate, and that crystal actually shows up as this remarkable kind of a dendritic crystal pattern. That's meteorite, right? That's the story sort of inside that rusty chunk of metal, um, and nothing else looks like it. The other truth of meteorite makes it doubly challenging is, so these are two beautiful pieces um, and just for reference, again, used to be by the ounce, now by the gram, each one of these little pieces, which would make an inlay for one side of a knife or an inlay for a bracelet link, is $400 at this point. It is gem grade material, and it is only going to get more expensive because as more people and more brands get excited about it, there isn't more you can get. So that's the backstory. The other truth with meteorite is most meteorite doesn't look good. Most meteorite doesn't have for whatever reason in its formation, you'll people find meteorites, we all get excited, those of us that love meteorite, and then we don't have that beautiful crystal pattern. It just kind of looks like rusty metal. And that's not a story we can really tell at hundreds of dollars, you know, tens to hundreds of dollars a gram. So the good stuff is extremely rare. The other thing with good stuff is it's relatively corrosion resistant. Not rust proof, but some of the alloys that are found in meteorites, you just breathe on them and they rust and that's really hard to use in any application. Gibeon meteorite is great when you can get it. It's getting damn near impossible. Pardon my French. There's another meteorite from northern Europe called Mona Lista 
that we're playing with. There's another meteorite that was recently found in South America that we're also playing with. And the question again is, what kind of grain structure does it have? And what are its metallurgical properties in terms of being able to put it on a knife or on a bracelet and have that wear well over time? So that's a little bit about meteorite. Uh, so case in point, the challenge with billions of year old material that have natural inclusions and flaws, and we absolutely don't have any control Here's a $400 piece of meteorite that I just took out of the box for this video, and it's already in two pieces. It broke across one of those crystal grain lines. So uh, that's going to be a very much smaller inlay if we can find something to do with it. <laughs> so once again, raw meteorite. Here's the rough stuff, and we're going to move on to show you some of the finished product that we do here at William Henry featuring this billions-of-year-old star that fell to Earth. So, a few examples of finished product from William Henry that feature meteorite. This is our B13 Retro Bracelet, and there are five sterling silver links that have been inlaid with meteorite on this piece. It's really beautiful. I hope, you can, I hope it shows well enough in the camera. We have our uh, sort of distinctive William Henry button lock for quick release. As you can see, that crystalline grain from the meteorite showing uh, polished into sculpted sterling silver clean finish, a beautiful thing, and you get to wear a billion years of history on your wrist. So this piece is a small dog tag. Again, dog tag is classic. Gotta have it in the collection, but why make an average dog tag? So it is meteorite set into sterling silver, uh, set on a really fine uh, rounded box chain. It's also sterling silver, and I'm just trying to get the camera to Oh my goodness, that is tough. So there you go. There's a beautiful dog tag in Meteorite. Really small, really unisex. It wears beautifully uh, for really anyone. Um, it stacks nicely. It's a cool accent by itself. And again, I love stories that you can tell. And a billion years old is a pretty cool story. All right, moving on. So here's a pair of cufflinks in sterling silver with Meteorite inlays. Uh, beautiful. Uh, we've done a, We've engineered a solid post construction that actually works really nicely when it's worn on a dress shirt. And again, that, that gray silver tone works with almost anything. And what a story. Beautiful things. And here is a bracelet from our new leather collection. Uh, it's double sided leather that's fully finished and edge sealed and has a stiffening agent inside, uh, or sort of a reinforcing tape that makes it even stronger, with uh, fully sculpted and adorned accents and a magnetic clasp. And it's all about that centerpiece, which is sort of our take on an ID bracelet uh, with an engravable back with meteorite on top. The clasp is a really easy and really secure sculpted magnetic. Uh, we make this whole thing in Oregon. There you go. All right, the last one. The William Henry knife, still what we're best known for, although we love playing with that original DNA and other products. So here is a B12 limited edition um, featuring actually pretty substantial meteorite inlays in the frame. The frame is heat blue Damascus. It's a mosaic Damascus, which is a tiled and patterned Damascus. Very complicated. And that particular tile pattern marries beautifully with the crystalline pattern of the uh, meteorite. There's your B-side. And again, you'll see little variations. There will be little inclusions and imperfections. This is a billion years in the making. So the idea uh, that every single piece will not have any variation or inclusions is simply not possible with Meteorite at this point. We make no apologies. It has its own character. So here's this knife open featuring a stainless Damascus hand-forged blade. So we've got a heat-colored Damascus frame, a stainless Damascus blade, Meteorite inlays, Sapphires set into the uh, both the thumb stud and the button lock with a leather lanyard and sterling appointments. It's quite something. Functional, worthy of a museum, certainly worthy of your pocket and your daily life. And with all of these things, what's great about the William Henry website, if you're interested in learning more, is we have some additional um, information on Meteorite there, and we actually have a search function where you can search Meteorite and see any and everything that we have for sale. In some, at some points, that's nothing. At some points, there are a few pieces featuring meteorites. So if you want to learn more, williamhenry.com and look for the search function and type in meteorite and watch it go. Thanks for joining us again here at the William Henry Studio for Material of the Month. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share. And I will see you next time.
living to do, do all these hacks. <laughs> Alright. Alright, we rolling still? Mm -hmm. Okay. Then we get to we're gonna do that again. <laughs> okay, are we good? We're rolling. Alright, you a YouTuber. Hey Matt, guess what? What? You're a YouTuber. Shit, you are so a YouTuber. <laughs> um Okay. Oh, you're probably rolling. So I should probably talk.